fundraising is an incredible profession. Fundraisers give people the chance to change the world. In 2019, fundraising activities brought in nearly 25 billion for good causes, with the British public donating around 10 billion every year. We rightly celebrate the generosity of donors who support charities in the UK, but this wouldn't happen without fundraisers. They are the lifeblood of an organisation. Without them, charitable services would never get off the ground. In fact, 81% of people only give a donation after having been invited to support the cause, rather than it being a spontaneous decision. So fundraisers are vital, and not just in raising the money that enables charities to do their work. Fundraising is the main way that people hear about what is happening and get involved. It's a link that brings people closer to causes they care about. It educates us all about social issues and gets us taking part. 63% of people who donate do something else positive, like recommending the charity, promoting it on social media or volunteering. So quite simply, fundraising is a brilliant catalyst for positive change. And fundraising is not just about persuading people to give to the charity. It's about inspiring people to make a difference to the world by giving and getting involved. And it happens to be great at making us feel good. So fundraising match makes people who want to see the change in the world with people who are able to achieve it. And for that, it's surely one of the best professions in the world. As a fundraiser, you might be a paid professional or a volunteer. It might be your full-time job or just a part of your role. Any time that you are able to bring in more support to keep your projects and services running, you are a fundraiser. Without you, so many of us wouldn't know even where to start. Donations are usually cash funds, but can also be donations of physical items, skilled services, legacy pledges, shares or gift aid, to name just a few. And as a fundraiser, you have the privilege of inviting people to donate in all of these different ways to make your remarkable projects happen. Donations cover the complete work of your organisation, so they fund the costs of running your services and projects and the overhead costs of running your organisation, which includes the fundraising. You are responsible for finding the fundraising opportunities, planning who to invite to donate, when this should happen, and designing how someone can process their donation. And crucially, you are responsible for making sure supporters know how important they are and for showing them the awesome impact of their donations. Fundraisers can work in large teams, each communicating with very different, very specific audiences, or you could be working for a small organisation, managing almost all of it on your own. Either way, you are not alone. The Chartered Institute of Fundraising is here to help you. As the UK's membership body for fundraisers, we are here to support you as you develop excellent fundraising for a better world. In fact, we have support groups all over the UK. We provide guidance, training and events for fundraisers and we champion their work on the public stage. Fundraising will look different for every organisation. It will depend on your organisation's mission and goals, what you need funded and by when and how much time and investment you have to take into it. It is a remarkable profession and we hope you find more advice and guidance in the video resources here for you. There are so many different ways for charities to fundraise. You can invite individual donations from the general public, get support from companies and businesses, build relationships with major donors and trusts and foundations, put on events to raise income, inspire people to take on personal challenges to raise sponsorship, or leave a gift in their will. There are over a dozen ways to raise money from companies alone, and new methods are being added all the time. When it comes to fundraising, there is no one-size-fits-all model. You should be working with the audiences that are right for you in ways that are right for them. But trying to get a diverse range of fundraising activities is likely to help you be sustainable and successful in the long term. 
Let's take a look at some of these key audiences who can provide you with funds. They are individuals and their communities, trusts and foundations, businesses and government. The UK public, in fact, give over 10 billion to charities each year, and these brilliant individuals add a further 4.5 billion a year in fundraising events and donations to charity shops. There are so many different ways to reach them and invite them to donate. To give you a flavour, they include face-to-face -face and virtual fundraising events, raffles and lotteries, online giving through your website and third-party ones like Just Giving, direct mail and door drop mailings, media and advertising from TV to newspapers and sites like Facebook, texting or tapping to donate. Every group will find there are activities that work better for them and their donors. You won't be able to do everything all at once, but the good news is you really don't have to. A fundraising strategy will help you plan which activity to run with which audiences to maximise the impact you can have as a fundraiser for your cause. Alongside everyday donations by members of the general public, you can help major donors give large individual gifts to your cause and offer everyone a way to make a gift to you in their wills. Another key audience that fundraisers work with are grant-making trusts and foundations. There are in fact over 8,000 in the UK giving 2.7 billion pounds of funding a year. And these donations are the most common source of funding for many charities. There are grants for almost every type of charity and project. It can take time to find and apply for them, and it's often a very competitive process that requires really strong writing skills. But these are professional donors who need fundraisers as much as you need them. Companies are another great audience to work with. Businesses of all shapes and sizes have become increasingly aware of how charitable they need to be, recognising that they need to demonstrate social responsibility. They need to invest in the community in which their employees are based and think about the causes their workforce care about. They currently give around 400 million a year in positive change projects through charity of the year schemes, staff donations, payroll giving, benefits in kind, and much more. And lastly, governments. They offer a range of grants and contracts that charities can bid for. 31% of non-profit income in the UK comes from government, so it is a huge part of how charities deliver their work. Fundraisers need to find funding opportunities, decide if they're deliverable, if they're winnable, and whether funds will sufficiently cover the costs of the project. It is detailed, analytical, and often game-changing work. No matter which audiences you are speaking to, fundraising needs to be legal, open, honest, respectful and accountable. These core principles of fundraising are the heart of the code of fundraising practice. It's managed by the fundraising regulator. And this code gives you clear guidance on the legislation affecting fundraising, which every organisation, whether you're a registered charity or not, should be one that you're signed up to. Make sure you visit the Fundraising Regulators website to find out about it now and sign up your organisation.